Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. This is a video inside of Stampy's lovely world, and as you can see, it is the middle of the night, and there's no stars and no moon. I seem to have a weird glitch in my world where every now and then the weather plays weird tricks and the sun and the moon disappear, but I believe the sun should be about to rise, although I'm not sure uh, whether it will or not. Uh, but anyway, on with the video. And hello, Esther. You are right down here? Haven't seen you in a little while. Having fun? Uh, I'll take that as a yes. Why not? <laughs> and uh, in this video, I'm going to be joined by my good buddy, Elfa Lee, who I believe is cooking me breakfast. I, I guess he's in my kitchen. And uh, yeah, he said he's going to prepare me my breakfast today. So I'm quite looking forward to that. Uh, so here's my kitchen through here. Hello, Lee. Oh, look at him there. Busy, busy working around the kitchen. Yeah! cake how did I know I like the new tradition I like the new tradition of having cake for breakfast I think I might carry that across into my own life as well rather than just uh, inside of Minecraft uh, anyway there's quite a lot to get done today and um, the first half of the video is gonna be building and working and actually uh, trying to get something productive done and um, we'll see how well that goes and the second half of the video is gonna be jolly good fun we're gonna head over to the fun land and uh, we're gonna play on the dunking booth ride uh, that you may have uh, saw me finishing uh, in my last video, so that should be jolly good fun. And here we go. Here we here we seem to be having another grey dull day. I think that Minecraft can tell that I'm actually in England, and it adjusts the weather accordingly. It means that I always have dull, ugly-looking grey days rather than sunny days. But oh well, it doesn't matter. And are you right, Lee? Why are you looking all so upset? Is it just the weather? Is the weather getting you down, Lee? <laughs> oh, I know, I know. It's, it's not good. It doesn't matter, though. It doesn't matter. We'll, we'll have fun anyway. <laughs> okay, so first I'm going to add someone to my love garden. And the first thing you may have already noticed is that... Oh, no! All the signs have gone. All the signs have been taken out of the love garden. Don't worry. I've not taken anyone out of the love garden. Everyone is still here, but they're all just a little bit more compact. Uh, because I had too many signs, they were taking ages to load in. Uh, so I've basically... Uh, put it so that there's four people per sign. Uh, that way I can fit more people in and more people uh, can be jo uh, added into my love garden. And if you don't know what my love garden is, by the way, uh, it's basically a place where uh, I put someone's name down in a sign and give them a shout out just to say thank you for something or other or... I don't know, it's, it's normally due to a comment someone's left, but also it's people that send me pictures and videos and stuff to say thank you. Uh, I add them to my love garden and today I am adding... Ben M843, and uh, the reason I'm adding Ben M is uh, because he suggested the name for the goldfish in my dunking booth, and uh, I decided to call it Bobbin, uh, which is of course the name that he suggested, and uh, there's quite a few good names, uh, a lot of people suggested Jack or Jacko, uh, because his head's a jack-o'-lantern, I thought that was quite cool, uh, also quite a lot of people suggested the name Cake, <laughs> uh, which kind of made me laugh, because it was a bit like fish cakes, <laughs> because it was a fish, uh, so yeah, I decided Bobbin though, uh, because I quite like the name Bob for a fish anyway, and it's kind of like bobbing up and down because it's a fish i don't know <laughs> I, I like bad puns so i think i kind of just like that name so yeah uh, welcome to my love garden buddy and uh, what we're going to be doing in this video is uh building the kind of like the launching pad for the rocket ship i'm gonna have a massive rocket ship here which i'm not sure what i'm gonna call but um not sure what i'm gonna call it but it should be quite awesome uh, but first i'm gonna build like the the scaffolding bit of it you know when you see rocket ships, they have kind of that structure next to it, which kind of looks like scaffolding. Uh, so yeah, me and Lee are going to go and try and uh, build that. I don't know what it's called, but hopefully uh, this will go okay. So it's basically going to be a load of uh, nether brick stairs and fences and stuff. So um, this should look okay. We'll see though, and I'm not entirely sure where to build it. I want the rocket quite big, so I can guess it will be in this area here. So if I start building the scaffolding in about this area... And so it's basically going to be stairs going up like this. And it's all going to be uh, never brick stairs and then all just fences all around it to kind of make it look like scaffolding. So it'll look like just a whole load of fences and kind of concealed in the middle will be like this staircase. So uh, the way we're going to do it is I'm going to go around and I'm going to try and build like the staircases going up. And then Lee's going to sort of follow behind me building in the rest. And do I need a pickaxe to get rid of that? Yeah, I do. Okay, so uh, hopefully this won't get too boring, but um, we, we kind of need to build this before we build the actual rocket ship because the way you're going to be able to get into it is by going up the stairs and then there's going to be like a little bridge leading onto the rocket ship and then, yeah, I'm going to go into the rocket and I don't know, I could fly around in space for a bit, maybe. <laughs> maybe I'll go to the moon or something. That that would be cool. It'd be cool if you could actually do that in Minecraft. <laughs> I know there's actually a... um. 
There's a mod in the PC version that allows you to build a working rocket ship and you can go to other planets and find new materials on different worlds and stuff. And it looks so amazing and I want it. It's not fair. I mean, I do like the Xbox version. It's kind of it's kind of what I've grown up on. I say what I've grown up on. I've been playing it for a year or whatever. But it's what I know and it's what I love. It's where all my friends are. But uh, sometimes I do get a bit jealous when I see all of the other stuff that they can do in PC. Uh, but it doesn't matter. I mean, the good thing about Minecraft is it's a sand box like it's different for everyone as long as you keep having ideas and coming up with new things to build then i don't know then it's kind of endless you don't really need any new additions to be added because you can kind of just come up with your ideas yourself if you have a new idea you can just build it you don't have to wait for someone to add it into the game uh, so yeah basically it's going to be a staircase leading all the way round up here and i know i'm building it very slowly but uh, i'm always slow at building when i'm trying to speak at the same time then we're just going to fill the entire thing in with fences and it should look pretty cool and uh before the video we contemplated doing it out of um like stone steps and using iron gates uh, but then when we tried to do like a bit of a mock-up to work out what it would be like, uh, we realised how annoying it is building out of iron gates or iron fences, whatever they're called. So uh, we decided that we were going to use uh, just nether brick instead. And it's good that you can get nether brick really easily now. Uh, if you don't know how to get all of this nether brick, all you need to do is uh, get nether rack from the nether and then smelt it, then you get nether bricks, then you can make it into blocks and then fences and stairs and stuff so it's actually really easy it's like it's nice having a new material i can build a lot of things out of because like i play on survival like i'm normally quite limited to what i can build out of and uh, so it's nice having another material that there's plenty of that i can actually uh, build lots of things out of and i do use uh, creative mode sometimes to give me materials just so uh, i don't need to keep updating my world like when they add a new item or something which i couldn't normally get like melon seeds or something uh, because i would have no way of getting them uh, without having to start a new world i do cheat and give myself that and uh, also like if i'm building like a roller coaster or something and i need loads of a like particular color of wool uh, i do use creative mode for that like it's not really cheating it's just that if i had to gather it legitimately it would just take so long and then i wouldn't be able to upload as many videos so it's kind of it's kind of the lesser of two evils in my mind but <laughs> in terms of most other things i do it legit i don't know it's just more fun doing survival to me like i, I do want to sometimes build big massive things in creative mode but i don't know it's always just a bit you always feel a bit more proud when you've built it yourself when you've had to build little platforms to get up there and you feel like you feel like a human trying to build things rather than a superhero flying around and stuff i don't know i think it's just a little bit more rewarding uh, anyway i think this is uh, about the height i want to get to for this so if i kind of build just a bridge leading out now do you reckon from here um actually, yeah if i get rid of that fence if i just build like a straight bridge actually should i go up one more and I think this will be high enough. I mean, the rocket ship's not going to be too big. So yeah, then there'll just be a bridge leading across here. And this will go to like an iron door, which will lead into the rocket ship. And I was thinking of having a orange and white rocket ship to kind of go with my fur would look quite cool. And yeah, so th this is almost done now. All we need to do is go and fill all the middle up with fences. And Lee seems to have been doing uh, quite a good job anyway. Let let's go help him out now. And then we're going to head over to the Funland and play on the dunking booth. And I'm so happy with how the dunking booth ended up. <laughs> like, you kind of saw it working at the end of the last video in terms of what you have to do. Uh, but you never saw the, uh, the mechanical side of it, the, the actual dunking mechanism. And with that added, it's so fun. It's so funny just seeing your friends get dunked into the water. So I'm kind of wanting to get this bit out of the way just so I can show you that last bit. <laughs> I, I promised the exciting ending of the video so you have to watch through all the boring stuff with me just placing a load of blocks but uh, so what the plan is for the next few videos is uh, once we've finished this bit uh, we're going to go and start building the actual rocket ship and uh, we're going to build probably in the next video like the outside of the rocket ship like the main shape and then in the video after we're going to build the inside and i'm actually going to try and add like fake engines and stuff and the rocket ship is actually going to be powered by food i'm going to have the main fuel source cake and so that 
and I can fill it up with all cookies and stuff and that is what's going to run it. So instead of using coal and stuff and like fossil fuels, it's going to run off food, you know, all of my leftovers. <laughs> you know when you finish your dinner and you got to go and scrape your plate to get rid of the leftovers or you, you sneakily feed it to the dogs if it's Brussels sprouts. <laughs> instead of doing that, I can just take all of my leftovers and dump it into the engine of the ship and then uh, that should power it. And uh, yeah, I, th I think we're not far off being done here, to be honest. You can kind of see what it will look like. I might add some torches on it just to, to light it up a bit. But uh, this is basically what it's going to be like. So um, yeah, let's go back for a bit and have a look at it from the outside. Um, <laughs> it doesn't look great yet. There's obviously uh, a few gaps with the fences. But this is basically all it looks like. They have these really fancy, expensive-looking rocket ships. And then they basically build scaffolding next to it. That's what it actually looks like. So <laughs> that's kind of what I'm doing here. Just a bit more of a... Uh, a scaled down version and I realize I don't have a dog with me I normally go and take a dog with me um, but I didn't actually take one that's Lee's dog there oh that, that's that's no good I can't even remember what Lee's dog's called anymore oh, I, I know I should know I'm gonna have to check on my way to the fun land what uh, Lee's dog was called I know I should know um, did you keep getting hurt Lee what's going on I, can, I think every time he drops down he just hurts himself a little bit more be careful up there mate I haven't got any insurance don't, don't fall off and try and claim any compensation of me for danger in the workplace. <laughs> You're risking your own life going up there. You, you've got to accept that. I have a contract for all of my Minecraft helpers to uh, sign just so uh, if they do get damaged in the workplace, then uh, that way I'm not liable for anything. And yeah, here we go. Now it's getting almost finished. Now once I've just placed these last few bits in, and I've got through so many fences. Uh, luckily, I got loads of Neverack from the... um. Uh, from the never and I've actually got a load of neverack uh, smelting as we speak in case we do run out uh, but this looks quite cool uh, it's a bit dark isn't it let me put a few torches up can you put torches on fences oh, I don't think you can that's a bit annoying I suppose I can put one there and there I guess uh, there's probably some places on the way up if I put them just down on here I suppose that will do you might you might burn your feet a bit as you walk up but that doesn't matter <laughs> you never really think of torches actually being made out of fire do you they're kind of just like little floating light bulbs really but yeah that, that could actually be quite dangerous <laughs> i might actually on the way up just put a few normal blocks just so we can put torches on them this is a bit it's a bit like a massive cage isn't it i should also have fences going along like this bit here like across the bridge leading into the uh the ship uh, this looks quite cool. What I might actually do is uh, have a look online at what they look like in real life and kind of try and copy them a bit more. <laughs> I should have like a sort of mission control place. I need like a little like shack underneath just full of like computers and mechanical things. I need a place where you know when the rocket successfully takes off and you always see the shots of them all like cheering and throwing their notes in the air and jumping up and down like crazy. <laughs> I need an area like down there where I can put all my Minecraft helpers down there so when I take off they can all start jumping up and down and cheering going woohoo! <laughs> Stampy's taking off! <laughs> Stampy's in space! <laughs> oh I'm gonna have to do that. I might do that in the next video actually. That would be quite cool. So once I've done uh, this last bit along the top here uh, that should be it almost done right if I go and uh, I, need, I need some way to hop up as it's getting dark as well let's put a torch down there yeah if I put done this one last row that should be it completely done I wasn't sure whether we we're gonna get it finished in this video but it looks like we pretty much have jolly good so uh, one more block one last piece of fence and uh, then we go and have a nap uh, just before all the googly spawn and then we can go over to the fun land and play the dunking booth so let's see what this looks like from the outside then out that hurt. <laughs> so this is where I'm going to have to get suited up in my astronaut gear before I go up. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's kind of exactly what they look like, actually, isn't it? It's kind of scaffolding. I mean, they're not the right colour. They're not normally a dark, reddy purple, but the kind of concept's there. So let's very quickly uh, head to bed, and then we can go and head over to the fun land. Actually, let's just head over to the fun land and uh, sleep over there, because otherwise uh, we're going to waste too much time going to bed. So we're going to have to be careful. We're going to have to watch out for the googlies. I'm going to grab a dog with me as well so the dog can protect me. And uh, yeah, then we can head over to the fun land. Let me just hop down here. Ouch. And uh, yeah, who should I take with me today? I have no idea. Um, oh no, I need to get rid of Arrow. If you didn't see last video, Arrow actually died, which was really sad. Um, I'm going to take... I'll take Benji with me, and you can tell which one's Benji uh, because it's the one with the longer tail. You can see Benji's tail's longer. Right, that's the way you can tell it's Benji. Uh, so now let's very quickly uh, go and head over to the fun land and play on the dunking booth. Jolly good. 
And uh, we might actually try dunking the dogs as well. We did do that the other day. You can actually sit the dogs down on the little flap and uh, dunks the dogs and it actually looks quite funny. All right, okay, so let's go and get the minecast. Where's Leo? Are you around, Lee? There he is, there he is. He's heading to join me. All right, okay, let's go quickly. Uh, I'm kind of scared that we are going to get attacked. I'm sorry, it's probably quite dark as well. I need to put torches all around my house. I think if I put torches everywhere, then I should be safer because then I think I'd have less stuff spawning. But is there even anything here? We're not on, like, peaceful mode, are we? I haven't seen any googlies the entire video. I probably shouldn't say that. I'm going to jinx it, aren't I? <laughs> I'm going to say, I haven't seen any googlies. And I'm going to turn the corner and there's going to be a hundred creepers just standing there, like, looking me in the face. Like, you shouldn't have said that, mate. You shouldn't have said that. Um, we seem to be relatively safe. Where are they all? Surely I'm not on... I can't be on peaceful mode because I was hungry at the beginning of the video. And uh, on peaceful mode, your hunger automatically goes up. So... I don't know, I guess they're just not too bothered with us. We might as well go to sleep anyway, uh, just in case they do come out and get us. So uh, I'm going to have a quick sleep uh, up in here, and then we can go and play. And you can kind of see uh, what it looks like finished. It hasn't changed uh, too much since the last video, but it's just sort of been, I don't know, a little bit more fine-tuned now. So uh, it should be good fun. So let's go and have a quick nap. And then in the morning, we can go and play the dunking booth. And we can try and dunk someone uh, into the fish tank with Bobbin. <laughs> with Bobbin the goldfish. I love that name. That's such a good name for a goldfish. <laughs> if I ever get a fish, I'm going to have to name it Bobbin now. <laughs> Bobbin up and down. I actually named um in my graveyard for my shooting range, if you saw that video. <laughs> one of the graves that says Bob Along. Like Mr. Along, first name Bob. Which I thought was quite a funny name. And hello, Bobbin. Are you right in there? It looks quite happy, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, it's such a ridiculous shape for a goldfish. And here you can see, uh, here is Arrow's grave. And we put up an item frame uh, with a, uh, a little arrow in there. There he is, just throwing down some pork chops in respect. We should probably throw down some arrows on his grave. I can't believe he died then. I'm losing them so regularly now. I think I just need to make sure I always tell them to sit down when I'm going somewhere dangerous. So Benji, come here. Benji, you sit down and you stay safe. You stay away from all of the silly men and their arrows that are going to be firing around the place. Right, so I've got a chest here full of bows and arrows. And then, yeah, Lee's gone up to the dunking area. So what happens is... Oh, I think he's putting his dog down. <laughs> yeah, so what happens is you shoot the picture frame off. It lands on the pressure pads, uh, which should make it dunk. Right, so let me go into the minecart just to make it harder. And I have 15 arrows, and we've got to see whoever can do it quickest. There we go, the dog's ready, the dog's in position. I've got to see if I can do it in under 15 arrows. Right, arrow number one. I got it! I got it first go! Look at the dog! And the dog got dunked! I did it! I got it in one go! Woo! I can't believe that! It normally takes ages! Honestly, normally that takes about, like, at least ten attempts. Right, do you want to have a go, Lee? Do you want to get yourself a bow and arrow? And then you go in there, and I'm going to... Oh, God, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, then I'm going to go up, and I'm going to go and get myself dunked. Right, if I just put that up on there... Oh, why isn't it doing it? Why isn't it letting me put it in the item frame? Let me get it right in the middle. What? What's going on there? Okay, let me, let me get rid of the item frame and put it back up. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Maybe I could do it just the item frame. There we go, there you go. You've got to try and hit the arrow. <laughs> okay, let me go up to the um, the tower. How do I get to the tower? I should probably put a gate over here somewhere, shouldn't I? So you can quickly get to it, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> right. <laughs> it, it takes longer going up than it does going back down. And uh, this is where it got dangerous last time. This is where uh, Arrow sadly fell off and died in my last video. But uh, if I'm careful... I should be okay. So basically, there's a redstone trail just with torches that leads up to here. And this basically just leads straight here to the trap door. And then I basically have to stand here and uh, wait to be dunked. So go on, Lee. Go and see if you can hit it. You've got to get it in first go just to draw. And look, he missed. This is what normally happens. Normally, we miss a hell of a lot before we hit it. Oh, that was close. Did he get it? Yeah, he did. He got it in two. We're doing good today. Now I'm recording. We've, we've got our practice in. Like, we, we normally miss so much. But luckily, as I'm recording, we're actually managing to do it. Okay, right. Back up, Lee. Now we're going for the other one. Now we're going for the uh, the tower drop. And uh, what, what should we try and shoot? We're trying to shoot... Um, oh, I've lost all my... I was going to put my pork chops in. I think I've lost them all. Did I drop my pork chops somewhere? It doesn't matter. Let's try and shoot the arrow, shall we? Right, okay. So the plan is... You go up to the top of this tower, and uh, you may have kind of seen this in the last video, and then i got to drop down, and as I fall through the gap, i got to try and shoot, and it's actually really difficult, so if I just go to the edge and crouch, that way I'm kind of just over the edge, then if I stop crouching and shoot... Oh, because that was rubbish! I just shot straight away! <laughs> right, shot number one! <laughs> we might be here for quite a while. 
Right, let's go for shot number two, shall we? Right, I think I'm just going to walk forward this time. And shoot. Oh, I did it, but I cheated. I landed on the ledge. That counts. That counts anyway. Oh, okay, I think that was kind of cheating. I kind of accidentally landed on the wrong ledge there. Right, okay, Lee, you're up. You've got to try and do it in under two shots. If you can do it in one shot, then you're winning. Although I was kind of cheating because I landed on that ledge. I didn't mean to, though. I didn't want to. Right, let me put that back up there. There's nothing on here, is there? Right, back up. Back up for the, the final dunk. I, love, I just love the delay. If you look, when you uh, shoot the target and it sets it off, uh, once it flaps open, there's a bit of a delay from when they drop. And it really reminds me of, like, in cartoons when they, like, run over, like, a cliff. And then they don't fall until they look down. There's just that little bit of delay where gravity hasn't worked yet. You're right, go on, Lee. Go on, take your shot. You've got to get it in one go. Oh, did he get it? Did he get it? No, he didn't. There's always that little pause where you don't know whether they got it or not. And you don't know whether you're going to get dropped or not. <laughs> That's got to be close, though. I, I didn't see where it landed. You can kind of just about see where it lands like if they hit the glass or whatever that looked close though you got to get it in this go to draw with me if you don't get it now then you've lost lee this is the big one come on you gotta make sure you hit it concentrate oh oh, oh it's close it's close it's close oh no look he's hit the glass i can see he's hit the glass that means i win kind of technically even though i was cheating but i don't care <laughs> i'm gonna still count that as i win i'm just gonna dunk myself just for good fun anyway <laughs> anyway we've just about run out of time in this video hopefully you enjoyed um, us playing on our dunking booth. I certainly enjoyed making it and enjoyed uh, even more playing it. I'm going to have one more go just to try and shoot it before the end of the video. Can I get it again? Out of the way, Lee. Careful. Careful. <laughs> Don't run over there. But this is what normally happens. Normally it goes completely wild and crazy. And that's a dangerous place to go, Lee. Right, come on. Oh, so close. Oh, I, I should have left it. I should have left it with me getting it in one go. There we go. And then there's no one to get dunked. <laughs> Yeah, so in the next video, I'm going to be carrying on building my rocket ship, which should be quite good fun. Uh, but sadly, as I did say, that's the end of this video. So I want to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you later. Bye!